In the early days, men lived in caves. It was cold and dark and quite uncomfortable. But at least here they found shelter from wind and weather. Later, men built houses right where they worked and lived. However, once built, these houses were rather inflexible. They were badly insulated and a lot of energy was necessary to keep them warm. So what does the house of the future need? It should provide for its own energy without harming the environment. It needs to be flexible and adapt to changing circumstances, whether we live alone or with a friend or as a couple or a family. But what might such a house of the future look like? Hmm. Our solution is quite simple. We use joints and beams. They form a three-dimensional grid. We can close some of the frames to define the interior space. The system can easily be extended by adding additional beams and joints. We can create anything from generous living spaces to small private compartments. We can even stack them. For our Madrid house, we decided on a one-story design. Four modules create an S-shaped interior space. Some facades will be closed. Others will comprise floor-to-ceiling glass windows. Additional frames will form two patios. The interior of the house can adjust to its inhabitants' needs. It can appear as one big living space or it can transform into separate rooms. The whole roof will be covered in solar panels. Closed walls will be used to produce even more energy, enough to exceed the house's own power demands. Creating such a technical green building poses a great challenge. Here at the Constance University of Applied Sciences, an interdisciplinary team of more than 30 students is working on that task. Our goal is to create a house that adapts to the needs of its residents throughout their lives. A house that stands for an age of green energy and sustainability. Our goal is to create a house for the future. <laughs>